Hello, my name is Annie Bond, and welcome to the Jewish Producer and the Annie Bond Show. I'm with Jewish Producer. Jewish Producer, how are you doing today? Uh, I think I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I did a show, and then I did uh, talk to my friend. I did two shows, one by myself and one with my friend, Mr. Midnight Movie. And now I'm doing a third show with my friend, Annie Bond. Uh, the world-famous Andy Bond. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. My name, like I said, my name is Andy Bond, and it's great to be be here. It is right now in in California time here. Let's see if we can get California time. Uh, yeah. yeah, just a minute here. 10.43 in the p.m. And I don't know if I ever mentioned this to you, but I have four Jewish Producer Awards that listen to your show almost every night. Four Koreans. Oh, uh, well... Oh, thank you. I don't know how to speak Korean yet, so just give me about five seconds, okay? Well, I am popular in Korea right now. Nice. Is it the North Korean or the South Korean? This is South Korea, the nice ones. Okay, so I'm popular in South Korea. Thank you. That's right. You could, actually, if, if you don't mind, I'll, I'm going to give a shout out to Donghae. What's up, Donghae from South Korea? Ah, uh, well, give a shout out to anybody you want. Yeah, well, that's that's a city, actually. It's um, three hours south of Seoul. Ah. Uh, the city's called Donghae, and, and, uh, and you know what else I learned, uh, Andy, is that the word Bong, like your last name, has many meanings, and it could be the reason why your show could become super, this is my theory, could become super popular in Korea, because when you say Bong, that could mean a lot of words like that, it could mean a bedroom, or it could be Bong. What are you saying? Well, you know what? I am so blessed. I have 1,150 followers on my show right now. 7,107 plays was played. Right. So, I know I do. And it's scary. So, hey, when we get rich and famous, do you want to you wanna take this show on the road? And yeah, start driving and uh, not look back. Yeah, you don't want to look back. You want to just like find a bunch of cities where the, you know where you, you feel wanted, and uh, you go there. Mhm. Mm well, thank God I'm not in South Korea to I, because there's a lot of stuff in South Korea that's going. Uh, North Korea is. Did you get this? North Korea and South Korea are fighting again. Yeah, it's media. It's really yeah, it's media. Uh, yeah, you, there, right? you used to live in South Korea? Yeah, I sure did. Well, and, uh, and that's why I have Korean friends. That's how I got the Korean friends of mine to listen to your show. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah. So, tell me more about your life, Jewish producer. Uh, well, there's a lot of layers. I feel like a... Uh, uh, it's kind of like a uh, multi-generational uh, lemon or a multi-generational onion. You gotta undo all of the layers to really get down to the, to, you know, to all the good stuff. But, and that, the Korean uh, layers are always an interesting one because it was a turning point in my life. Explain. <clears throat> well, up until that point, I was in uh, one way. Uh, well, I was working in a, in a very corporate world, and then I went to South Korea and I taught English for a year. Uh, stayed there for quite some time, and then I uh, came back here and I uh, changed my life. I never went back to that kind of uh, lifestyle. And, uh, and I, I thank Korea for that major change. It's interesting. Uh, we, Our show is sometimes we do funny, but sometimes we do serious, and this is 
this is a sh this is a show that we're going to do serious. Uh, Jewish producer can ask me questions. I'm going to ask Jewish producer questions. We're going to get to know each other better. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like the G episode. I feel like we have to know each other uh, better. That. that yeah. Ah, uh, Chu died. You know. I'm sorry. Yeah. What did they do with the, the little body? Well, uh, Faraday buried it. Well, at least they didn't have to dig too big of a hole. <laughs> nope. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have two songs on my on my uh, desk one and desk two, and those are the two songs that we're gonna play throughout the show. What? Yeah. You hear me okay? Yeah. Well, I think that's what. Uh, go ahead and play the music. And, and if you're at home, you can turn it up too loud, but not too loud, or put on your headphones and crank it up really loud. Well, okay, I don't know if my headphones are gonna get you, but here it goes. Just produce, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, here it is.
Hello, and welcome to the Andy Bond Show with Jewish Producer and the Andy Bond Show. Jewish Producer, how are you doing, my friend? Oh, pretty good. How are you? So explain to me, do you think the bad trolls are out of here yet? Well, Who do you think is going to get kicked off first? Well, it's well, ladies and gentlemen, it is hard to. Uh, it's it's hard when you uh, when people do not follow the rules on on Spreaker or the rules on a on a show. It's very hard and the consequences the content I can't talk tonight. But one of the but these shows that are gonna violate the rules, I'm begging you don't please. Why can't we just live in harmony on Spreaker? Why is it always such a battle? To get out of to be the best. Why? I I'm I don't there's two sides of me. I want that to happen and I don't want that to happen. Mm-hmm. It's not like a third strike situation like with, the, with the law. I'm just talking about in general and in life. Some of these people have just had too many opportunities that they've squandered. And, and they should be responsible for crushing their own dreams if they want to. Yep. And those people should, and they need to go. Because I don't want, I don't want the, negative, uh, the negativity around. I don't mind having a show that is controversial and loud and annoying and vulgar. I don't care about that. But I have certain limits that I find uh, you know, I find hard to swallow. Me we'll too. Run them, we'll run into them no matter what. Yep. There's no way to avoid it. Mm -mm. But you know what? The, the, crumb, the cookie is going to crumble in a heartbeat. The cookie is going to crumble in a heartbeat, ladies and gentlemen. Me too. I'm really hungry right now for a cookie. Yeah. By the way, who makes the best cookie out for you? Know, if you were to go to a store and get a cookie, what would you do? American cookies. Mm hmm Yeah. It's the best cookies ever. You can get uh, one of those cookies for my birthday. How do we, how do we arrange that? Uh, I 
Jesus. What if I call it the time it's my birthday? And send me a free cookie. Well, unless you live in uh, Appleton, Wisconsin, it's going to be shipping you. Cool. Let me see if the, what, how do I find this place? American cookie, right? Mm-hmm. So, how old are you going to be, Jerry's producer? Allora, gli ingredienti per i nostri cookies al cioccolato e nocciola sono 225 g di farina, 170 g di zucchero, un uovo, 100 g di burro, un cucchiaio di lievito per gli occhi, un pizzico di sale, The Great American Cookie. I have no clue. So, your birthday is coming up, huh? Just Padusha. Oh, what do you want for your birthday?